So here's the data set from the Krispy Kreme experiment. In column I, you'll see that we have section number. There were two sections that participated in the study, section 203 and section 205. So the first thing that I want to do is create a frequency table by section. That's going to be a lot easier if we sort the data first. So let me show you how to do that. I'm going to move my cursor over to the column header, I, highlight the entire column, and then in the top right of the screen, you'll see that we have this sort and filter button, and among the options, the first is sort smallest to largest. I'm going to use that. It asks me if I want to sort the entire data set or just this one column. I want to sort the entire data set so that I keep things together. So I'll hit sort. Notice now that the students who were in section 203 are listed first, and if I scroll down, you'll see here are students select in section 205. So now let's start with the frequency table. The first thing I want to do is list all the values of the variable. In this case, there are just the two, 203 and 205. It's a short list. Now I need to count how many students were in each section. Excel makes this pretty easy. I can just highlight all the 203s. And then in the bottom right of my screen, I see that there's a count of 30. So in the cell next to 203, I'll type in 30. And now I need to count how many students were in section 205. So I'll highlight all the 205s, and again look in the bottom right of my screen, and I see that there's a count of 25. And so I'll type in 25. I want to make sure that I haven't missed anybody, and so I'm going to total this column. A fast way to do that is by using the auto sum feature. There's a button for that in the top right of my screen. I click on that. Excel makes a guess that I want to total all the values above this. That is what I want to do. I hit enter and I see that there are 55. So did I count everybody? Let's look. Ah, no, I've missed a lot of people. There are 68 participants in this study, so let me revise that. I think I missed some of the 205ers, but let's just start over with the 203s. That's accurate. There's a count of 30. And with the 205s, I missed some people at the bottom. The correct count was 38. So I'll change this. The nice thing about using that auto sum function is that it automatically updates. So now I have a correct count of 68. Let's add some labels here. This is the section, and this is the count, and we also have a total. So there's a basic frequency table created in Excel. Hmm. This is very basic though. I think I can jazz it up a little bit. I'm going to put the column headers in bold and also the label for the total. I think I'd also like if everything was centered. So I'm going to adjust that by using the center button. Starting to look a little bit better. To make this easier to read, I'm going to add some outlines. Uh, I want to put a line below these headers. So I'm going to right click, scroll down to Format Cells, and I want to add a border, but not all the way around, just underneath. I'll choose a thick line, click here, hit OK. And now you see that I've added a line underneath those cells. Why don't we also add one above the total 
cells. Again, I'm going to right click, format cells. I'll choose a little bit narrower line, and I just want this above, and hit OK. That's pretty easy to read, but I think I can even do a little bit better. Why don't we add some color to this? On the interior of the table, I'm going to use a light shade of green. And for the headers, I'll use a little bit darker shade. And I think I'll use the same for my totals. So now I have a nice, polished, easy to read frequency table for section number. While we're at it, Let's also add a graph, in this case a bar graph. To do that, I'm going to go to the Insert tab. I'm going to highlight the data that I want to graph. Those are the section numbers and the counts. Notice that I'm not including the total. I'll go to the Insert tab, select Column, and I'm going to use the first option. Hmm. Let's see, Excel is confused. I have two section numbers and two counts, and since all the values are numbers, Excel assumes that I want to graph all of that, including the 203 and the 205. But I can adjust this. I'll click on Select Data. I want to switch rows and columns. and remove Series 1. Now my bar graph is showing just the counts, 30 and 38. I want to change these labels. I'm going to edit the horizontal axis labels. Those should be the values 203 and 205. That should do it. I think I would like to make this a little more polished. I'm going to look at some of the different chart layout options. This is nice. This adds an axis title on both the horizontal and vertical axis and a chart title. I don't need this since I only have one series graph, so I'll just delete it. Let's see. This is the course section. 203 and 205. I don't think I need another title down here. It would be redundant. I should let people know that this is a count or frequency. That's looking better. What about some of the design options? Why don't we also change some of our background colors. Here I'm going to format the plot area, change the fill to a solid fill, and choose a lighter shade of green. I'll close that. I also want to change the background here, so I'll format the chart area change it to a solid fill, and let's see, how about what would a dark gray look like? No, I'm not crazy about that. We'll go with the dark green. I'll move this below the table. Looking much better. I think that the column labels are a little small. I'm going to click to highlight and then right click to bring my format menu. I want to change the font. Let's increase that to a 15. And I think I'm going to do that here as well. Change the font size, make it easier to read. And there you go. Now we have a frequency table and a bar graph for section number.